Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kat Theo, and today I am with my brother, Israel. What's going on? Do you see the resemblance? Yeah, about right, like, yeah. Here, come closer. <laughs> I mean, we don't really look. I mean, we used to look more alike when we were kids, though. Well, I don't. I don't agree as kids, but hey. So I'm here with my brother Israel. He actually listened to what I had to say about a app on my channel to make you money. So he took it. He took action, and now he has some money in his pocket. So hey, hey to you. What's up? Cool. So. One other thing, I am celebrating 300,000 subscribers. We just hit it, so yay. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. And to celebrate, I'm gonna be doing a giveaway for my merch. So I have all kinds of merch on my channel. To enter, all you have to do is like this video, share it with a friend, and comment down below that you're interested in entering the giveaway. All these t-shirts come in a multitude of sizes from size small, some are even extra small, up into to 5XL and they even have up to 4XT, which is extra tall. So if you're tall, they have t-shirts for you too. So get at it. I'm gonna be giving away any merch that you like on my website to five lucky winners. So just let me know in the comments below which t-shirt you would like. Uh, check out the website. I will put a link below so you can see it. I will personally buy my merch and then I will ship it to you so you can rep the Side Hustling family. Gang, gang, bang, bang. Thank you so much for the support. So now let's get on to the video. Okay, you're gonna swing your arms that way, okay? Ready? Okay, go. My name is Kat Theo and on my channel, what you will see is ways to implement a side hustle, saving, budgeting, and also improving your financial health. So my brother, Israel, did that. He took an app that I've talked about on my channel. He took action. He downloaded the app and started to make money on this app. So today he's gonna share his experiences and how you guys can get into it in your city. So the app we're talking about today is Shipped. For anybody who did not see the previous video, if you haven't, you can check it out here. Shipped is an app where you deliver groceries for people that are unwilling or unable. From what I've seen, there's a lot of people that are elderly or they have a lot of stairs or maybe they're handicapped and they're unable to shop for themselves. So you can make money delivering groceries to people in your city. Or people are just busy, you know, a lot of people will, you know, order um, stuff for dinner, you know, you know, and by the time they get home from, from uh, um, you know, their job, it'll be there waiting for them so they can make dinner. So it's not, it's not just uh, elderly people, but yeah. That's right. I've used delivery services through Hy-Vee and others. I don't know if they contracted through Shipped or not, but I've definitely used this service when I didn't have time to go to the grocery store and I didn't want to haul it up four flights of stairs. So it comes in handy. A lot of people use these apps all the time. How does it work for Shipters? Shoppers, okay. <laughs> okay, so basically they call us shoppers, um, even though we mostly are doing deliveries. But that's Okay, you're not a shifter, then you're a shopter. Shopper. Shopper, yeah. Shopper. We're okay. a ship shopper. Shipped shopper. Yeah. So how does it work for a ship shopper? Well, uh, the first thing you'll do is you'll download the app, um, and then they have like an application process. It's the same type of thing, uh, like a job interview sort of thing. You answer a bunch of questions, they do a background check on you, and then usually you will know in a couple of days, you, usually about a week at, at the most. Um, I, I got a notice that I was approved for, let me see, it was about three days. Uh, what they're looking for on that, on that, I know some people may not, you know, you know, if you have a slight criminal past, you may, may be worried. The most thing they're looking for is is theft and violence. Once you get get approved, um, you, they send you like a little welcome kit in the mail. You get a car like this. Wait, is your name on there? Uh, no. Ship shopper, that's all it says. And then you also get like a shirt and it'll have some instructions in there. And then basically once you do that, you are ready to go. The first 10 orders, um, you can't multi, multi-select orders. So that means that you will have to only do one order at a time to, for the first 10 orders. They wanna make sure you understand how the app works. Make sure you take your time. And uh, yeah, that, that's how it works. So you'll go on the app. There's a section for available orders. You will schedule a like block of time to actually do the order. So for instance, let's say there's you know, five orders for seven o'clock, seven o'clock in the morning, you'll select one. And then basically you have to deliver 
the that particular order within that particular time frame. So you have to deliver sometime between seven and eight. And then once you do that, you get paid. They just implemented a instant withdrawal. It used to be that you get paid once a week, but now they have instant withdrawal. So as soon as you're you're done and the order is posted to your shift account, you can withdraw the money. What does the day-to-day look like as far as what you're actually gonna be doing as a shipped shopper? So you show up to where, I mean. Sure, sure. Um, so how, what my day first looks like is I generally wake up around around six. In this particular market, it's kind of, it's, it's kind of competitive. There's, you know. Do you wake up at six? Yeah, but I mean, I wake, but I also take time school. So, oh. I mean, it's not just. Sure. Okay. I was like, you don't have to, obviously you can wake up whatever time you want, but usually there's, um, there's kind of two large blocks of time where orders are, are available. Uh-huh. Well, the first one is at seven, 70% of the orders that'll be available for the first, for the first half of the day will be, will be available at seven. That's usually how it works. So basically I'll wake up at six. I will start getting ready for the day, get my daughter up and get her ready for the day, grab any orders for after I have to take her to school, which is at eight. So I'll grab anything from like nine to like 12. I drop her off for school and then I can start going to my first order. Uh, what I would do is I usually only do delivery only just because it's faster and you have a higher chance of getting it done in that hour. Deliveries versus what? What's the other option? The other option is like actually like shopping for the items. Oh, okay. So on ship, you can actually go into the grocery store and do the shopping yeah. or the actual grocery store does the shopping for you and all you have to do is take the stuff and go. Yeah, yeah. Like I mentioned before, the way that Shipped works, which makes it so like a lot better than a, like like Instacart. I was is contactless, so basically all I do is I just call them, say I'm here for this person, and they bring it out to my car, and I'm on my way. Do you get a notification on an app, or are you like calling the grocery store? Like, how are you competing with these other people? For ships, like I said, there's a list of orders. So here's all of the orders in, in my particular area right now. So I can go ahead and click on one of them. Let me see. First, it seems like there's a lot of orders in Bellevue. So I'll click that, and, and as you can see, there's a bunch of orders for four, five, go on, and then basically you will select the one that you want. As long as nobody else has claimed it, then you have to do that order. Um, it's pretty simple. Okay, so you sign up, you get approved, you open the app, you're gonna see all of the orders that you can claim. You claim the ones you want, yep. and then you just go to the grocery store and put it in your car, then go deliver it. Yep. COVID-19 is a big concern of a lot of people for a very good reason. Is this something that you can do contactless? Are you going inside of their home? How does this work once you deliver the groceries? Yeah, that's a good question. So it's as contactless as it possibly can be. You know, you are still having to go to somebody's house, so. They said you don't go inside their house. You go to. Oh, to, okay, go to. Go to somebody's house for these deliveries. And so sometimes people will come out and they'll, you know, they, you know, you're a strange person at their house. They want to know what's going on. I wear a mask. The app will, does have like safety things. They advise you not to go in people's homes, which I don't. The only time I will go into somebody's house is if they are uh, disabled. That, and that's pretty much it. If you are an able-bodied person, I'm not coming into your house. I'm not putting away your groceries for you. I'm not doing any of that. I'm leaving it right here and I'm, I'm leaving. <laughs> Same thing with, with that, with that, the grocery store. When you get to the grocery store, basically you just call them. I usually will get out to help them put the groceries in my car just, just to save time and just to be nice. So that's pretty much as much contact as you get. Everything else is um, either, all communication is usually going to be done through the app itself. So, which they do um, masking for your phone number as well as their phone number. Um, and then once you complete the order, the, their address disappears. So you will never be able to like, like record somebody's address or anything like that. Well, everybody wants to know how much money. That's what we all know, right? We want to know that. How much money should somebody expect? You know, we're in a medium sized city. How much should somebody expect approximately per hour or per delivery, I guess? That's that's a good question. We'll get to that in just a second. Um, so I know a lot of people ask about like how like how to make money. Well, there's essentially four different ways you're going to be making money through the app. Okay. Uh, the first um, is going to be like you said the the orders. So the orders and deliveries, pretty simple. Like I said, we already explained it, so it's pretty simple. Um, the next is going to be referrals. There's basically a fifty dollar referral fee if somebody refers you through you like your special 
link. app number or whatever. Your link, yeah. Yeah, link number thing that basically each of you will receive 50 bucks. I know a lot of people, a couple people who made, can easily make an extra, you know, 250 bucks a month doing that. Next thing is promos. Promos are orders that have not been claimed within that hour. They want an order to be claimed within an hour before it has to be delivered. So if that order has to be finished within a, within a, like four to five time block, they want somebody to have it at like three. 3 or 3.30. If nobody's claimed it for whatever reason, either it's a low paying order and nobody really, really wants to get paid for, you know, a low order or whatever reason, you know, people just don't want it, then they will start to incentivize you to take it by increasing the amount of that order. There are definitely people who work you call promo hunters, which they will only do promos. I don't recommend that, which I'll get to that in a little bit, but yeah, just there's that. So the last way that you're going to make money through Shipt is through promo events, which is different than promo orders. With the promo events, Shipt is like, hey, we have old low like overall completion so if you complete so many orders within a particular time frame then we'll throw an additional like additional money on top of that so it, but for instance, I think the last one was if you complete 35 orders and I think by over the weekends, like which is Saturday, Sunday, then they would um, put on an additional 50 bucks for you. So just without doing anything. So that's going to be the, the four main ways you're going to be making money with shit. Awesome. So tell us, what are the numbers? Generally, per orders lack can, can be anywhere between 6 and $15 an order generally. Um, unless it's promo, which can, can push orders up to like 25 sometimes. But generally it's going to be on average, I'm um, kind of around nine, nine, ten dollars per, per order on average. Okay. And how long does it take you to do an execute order? an order? Yeah. Uh, around 30 minutes. I usually will do about two to three orders in an hour. Now, like I said, some orders do pay very little, but you know, you definitely should also take the lower orders too, because a lot of times those have a higher chance of paying a tip. It's also another way you can make money as well. Is through through like people giving tips. Okay, so um, the nine bucks a trip is not including the tip. No, no, it's okay. not, not including the tip. So it looks like your experience here for about an hour, if you were to do two orders, you're making about 18 an hour. And if you do three, you're making about 27 an hour. Yeah, about, I would say more closer to 20, 18 to 20, yeah, about, about 18 to $20 an hour. All right, so 18 to $20 an hour using your car to deliver groceries with an app called Shipped. Let's talk a little bit about, I mean, realistically in a day, how many orders do you do? It really just depends on the day. Not every single day is gonna have a bunch of orders. Um, for mm -hmm. this particular city, it seems like Wednesdays, Thursday are kind of the slowest days and you know, you will part you know, it's hard to even get in like maybe five, five, six orders. But and then other days, you know, you can easily make do 20, 25 orders. So it really just depends on how long you want to work. You're planning on what days you can actually work and kind of your, your worth that day. All right. So if you were to do 20 orders, that's about 180 average before tips. And if you were to do, you said on a slow day, six orders. Yeah about $54 a day before tips as well. That's obviously gross. You're gonna have some expenses. What are some expenses that you incur for this business? Um, Side hustle, I should say. I mean, if you wanna, if you kind of, kind of wanna go into like full expenses, you know, when, when it comes to like your cell phone, you need obviously to have cell phone service, you need to have stuff like that. But if you're not gonna count that, the main thing is gonna be gas. It's gonna be kind of the biggest one. And then the car, obviously your car payment is gonna be your, the next biggest thing. Yeah, maintenance um, on your car. Yeah, maintenance insurance. on your car. Uh, making sure that you know everything's good to go constantly you're gonna need to get like oil changes right now we're, we we our car has gone from like low miles to high mileage those cost about 60 bucks every I'll say probably once a month we also do car washes we have like a um, a service where we get unlimited car washes that's an extra 20 bucks a month yeah that's the best oh um, my god yeah that's kind of the, the main things if you already have a car anyways you already have insurance right. on it you're already paying gas, but you're going to, so the only expense extra is going to be additional gas and then additional oil changes, which might happen more frequently than your average user. Okay. The last thing I want to get into for anybody who's interested in using ship as their uh, new side hustle is some tips. What are some tips and tricks you can give to my audience watching this video? The first thing is to grab as many orders as you can. If you're going to be trying to constantly wait for the perfect order that pays like, you know, like promo or, you know, constantly doing that, you're going to lose time. And the way that I found to make, to make it work is basically to constantly be working because if you skip a, a block of time trying to wait for that perfect order, that's, that's time you didn't get paid. I'd rather get paid $6 for a single order 
than to not make anything. And then, like I said, usually on lower orders, people seem to be more willing to pay tips. So there's definitely an incentive to do that. The other thing is to take your time and, and go slow. I know that people, you know, everybody wants things instantly, but you only have one body. It's it's up to you to take care of it. And so if you're, you know, carrying a bunch of, you know, like jugs of milk, like a, like a lot of times you'll deliver to businesses and they'll have like, you know, these crazy huge orders because they're, they're a business. And if you blow out your back, you know, try to complete a bunch of orders, that's that's not good. So take your time, go slow. You have to look out for yourself. You know, of course you want to do a good job. You want to complete orders on time, but your health is important and you need to think about that as well as on top of making money as well. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment box. Um, I will make sure Israel, my dearest brother, will be looking out for them, answering your questions. He is going to be leaving his referral link in the description. If you're interested, you get 50 bucks and he gets 50 bucks. So helping each other out. And I will see you guys in the next video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Bye. What? I'm going! Okay, it takes a process. Okay, he downloaded the, it's an app, right? Yes. Okay, making money on this website. So we're going yeah. to app, it's an app, yeah. I gotta get my shirt ready. I have it on here, let me show it real quick. Way to be ready, Israel. Let me grab my phone. Just show it. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Let me see. Let me figure out. Let me get my life together real quick. You want to sync it up? Do a clap. Huh? You don't you don't sync the video in the audio? Yeah, I do. Take two. The last thing. Uh, blah, 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 blah. So real quick, let me look again. The last thing. Um, maybe I would like. What am I trying to say? English. English. English is hard. Well, there you go. If you have any further questions, leave them in the description. Was it comments? Yeah, comments. What am I doing? Doobly do. Huh? <laughs> what? Your, your comments are real dull. The do, put it in doobly do. Y'all know what it is. <laughs> I've never heard that in my life. Slow it up or down? Just slow it up now. You're gonna look like really short on camera. <laughs> That's fine. I'm okay with that. People can think I'm shorter than you. Okay, make sure you're sitting up straight and your, your shoulders are back. You know? Do I have my any hair out of place? No. My eyelashes are okay. Anyways, okay. all right. The last time I commented on your your makeup, <laughs> Israel, I don't know why you did that. That's why people came and attacked you. Uh, you not come to my channel, attack my person. I did it though. I did not. It wasn't even like it wasn't even like like an insult. It was just like stating a, 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 like a, like a like a astute fact. And that makes it wild. It was crazy. You deserved it though. That was so petty. It's just nice to help, you know, when you have 35 bags of groceries, just to help the 16 year old out who's putting them in your car. But you don't have to. I know, no offense, but a lot of ladies don't. They just kind of just sit in their car and let the dude just put them all in the back, which is fine. Um, <laughs> you know, that, that's it, it, it is what it is.